Hi folks, have you ever struggled to beat the train scenario? Well, struggle no more. Climb aboard this High Speed Express video and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Well, this train's about to leave the station, so find your seat because it's all aboard to Destination How I Beat the Train Scenario. So here's a description of the train scenario for the city of Sigelville. That's kind of hard to say. So the wind conditions are construct 210 instances of train tracks and 200,000 people transported using train. And there's also losing conditions. So if we play 20 game weeks with a population under 1,000, we lose. Or if we play 150 game weeks with a population under 12,000, we lose or we have zero money. Now the significance of the population under 12,000 is that we can't build any trains until we hit a population of 12,000. So that's the first key point is we got to get to 12,000 population before 150 game weeks. So let's start. Do you like trains? Sigelville is the perfect location for a city that's all about trains. This task of building a grand city to house plenty of people has been given to you so go build smash that subscribe button below right now and click on that bell so you don't miss out on great tips on how to play city skylines and if you like the video give it a thumbs up so that other city builders will know that this video is worth watching or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to so one of the things we are going to do is manage our budget very closely. So now that the budget panel has popped up, we're just going to turn the, the water, road, and electricity budgets way down. Somewhere around 60 to 66% to start. That'll save us some money. We'll come back and check that later. Now you notice I have a very simple highway connection. Basically, I'm building very lean and mean because we can't run out of money. That's one of the failing conditions. So I'm going to build very tight, very boring, build rectangular and square types of road grids so that I'm packed in as tight as I can get them and try to get this population up as fast as possible. So we've made it to a little hamlet, population of 500. That gives us a few extra things we can build. Well, so far, so good. The story message is, it's well done, the city's growing fast, keep this up and your trains will have plenty of passengers to carry. But we've got a long way to go to get to 12,000 population, because that's when we can build our first trains. So we've made it to a tiny town, population 1,600. Now let's check to see how we're doing on our scenario goals. So we've played 20 game weeks and we have, well we can't construct any trains yet. Only thing that's going to happen to us, we can't win at this stage of the game, we can only lose, which is kind of odd, until we get to a population of 12,000 we can start building some trains. We're at game week 26 and our population is, well, certainly well under uh, 12,000 but we're doing okay for money so let's keep our fingers crossed and keep on trucking well now we've made it to a population of 2,800 a boom town so there's lots more features new policies new roads all sorts of things at this level but we're still short of the 12,000 population needed to build our first train. So that remains our focus.
got 18 moves left to get to 12,000. Well, we made it to that population 12,000 milestone in under 150 game weeks. Excellent work. You have made the city grow into a metropolis. If you wish, you can take on a new challenge. Build zones of each industrial specialization, farming, forestry, or an oil, and connect them to your train network. But the bottom line is, we got to build trains. Now, I want to go back and fix my budget. I really lowered the taxes to 1% on the residential areas just to get them up to over 12,000. So we'll go back to 11%, 11 or 12, there we go. Maybe nine, I don't want it to go the wrong way. And maybe 11%, 11%, get our money up there. I think this is a good place to end part one of how I beat the train scenario. Now stay tuned because there are more important train scenario tips in part two of this series. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss out on great tips on how to play City Skylines. And click on that box in the bottom left hand corner to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube and they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on the box, sit back, relax, and watch another video.